Good morning, brothers. Let us offer this Holy Eucharist for these following intentions. For the gift of life given to Reverend Father Roly C. Tabo and Professor Connie Regalado. And for the priestly anniversary of Reverend Father Edwin C. Lanuevo. Let, uh, let us offer this Holy Eucharist for the souls of Simplicia, Theodora, Eusebio Manuel, Wilfredo, Norman, Jesse, Kobe, Antonieto, Castulo, Rudy, Lolita, Feliciano, Gerardo, Mikael, Ursula, Siriaco, Leon, Elma, Yotikio, Diego Sr. Sopronillo, Maria Anita, Ingracia, Jose, Lani, Jan Joseph, Romel, Marcelo, Generoso, Rolito, Ines, Teodoro, Ingracia, Elsa, Eli, Raul, Angela, Felicissimo, Calixta, Luis Sr., Francisca, Marcelo, Antonio, Maria, Glenn, Philip, Ramon, Rudy, Noemi, Ian, and for all the poor souls in purgatory. Also, let us offer this Holy Eucharist for the healing and recovery of Rogelio Go and Lani Garcia, Jean, Ivy, and April, Jelly, Sibi, and for the thanksgiving for all the graces received offered by Maria Evelia Alzate and family. And for our mass sponsors for today, Seminarian Jade Allegre and family and Seminarian Louis Emmanuel Gonzalez and family. Full of praise and thanksgiving, let us offer this divine liturgy to be presided by Reverend Monsignor Pedro Quitorio III. Together with the people of God, let us stand and sing the entrance hymn. Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be always with you. My dear brothers and sisters, today we are happy to celebrate this Holy Eucharist, celebrating the mercy, the love of God. And as we do that, let us call to mind our weakness, our sins, and ask the Lord for his mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. 
May Almighty God have mercy in us, forgive us all our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise through Christ our Lord. reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, I consider that the sufferings of this present time are as nothing compared with the glory to be revealed for us. For creation awaits with eager expectation the revelation of the children of God. For creation was made subject to futility, not of its own accord, but because of the one who subjected it in hope that creation itself would be set free from slavery to corruption and share in the glorious freedom of the children of God. We know that all creation is groaning in labor, pains even until now, and not only that, but ourselves who have the first fruits of the Spirit. We also groan within ourselves as we wait for adoption, the redemption of our bodies, for in hope we were saved. Now hope that sees for itself is not hope. For hope, for who hopes for what one sees. But if we hope for what we do not see, we wait with endurance. The word of the Lord. Let your response be, the Lord has done marvels for us. When the Lord brought back the captives of Zion, we were like men dreaming. Then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with rejoicing. Then they said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. We are glad indeed. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the torrents in the southern desert. Those that sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. Although they go forth weeping, carrying the seed to be sown, they shall come back rejoicing carrying their sheaves. The Lord has done marvels for us. Please stand to honor the Holy Gospel. according to Luke. Jesus said, What is the kingdom of God like? To what can I compare it? It is like a mustard seed that a man took and planted in the garden. When it was fully grown, it became a large bush, and the birds of the sky dwelt in its branches. Again he said, to what shall I compare the kingdom of God? It is like a yeast that a woman took 
and mixed in with three measures of wheat flour until the whole batch of dough was leavened. The Gospel of the Lord. You remember last Saturday, your recollection, Father Lito uh, provoked you with a question. What is your plan? What is the plan of your life? Friday evening, you also were provoked with the question. What meaning to life are you looking for? What meaning to life are you searching? But when you go through all the readings, including the Psalms today, you will realize that even before we even get to do our own plan, God has already did his plan for us. Made that plan no? In fact, if you go back to Isaiah, Isaiah says, before you were born, your names have already been written in the palm of God. You see? Nakasurat na. So that if you go, you know, you tinker with it, what happens will be like in Genesis, Jacob would end up wrestling with God. Nakipagsarihan Diyos. Or, as what Gamaliel will say in the New Testament, you will end up quarreling with God. Quarreling with God. Because there is the plan. In fact, the plan of God is embedded in creation, in the cosmos. And you hear that in, in the first reading in the letter of St. Paul to the Romans, chapter 8. Creation is groaning. Groaning. For God's plan, for God's revelation, for God's salvation, for God's creation. Groaning. Nagihinulat. Because the, the cosmology, the whole world, the whole universe had been tainted or better, destroyed because of original sin. And we included. And even the other parts, the other, the other creation in the universe is groaning for salvation. According to St. Paul, in chapter 8, he says, um, For creation awaits with eager expectation the revelation of the children of God, for creation was made subject to futility. You see? Subject to futility. And even now, some of us are still subject to futility because of that sin. Not of its own accord, but because of the one who subjected it in hope that creation itself would be set free from slavery to corruption. See? Halarum lang a theology, but it's talk it is speaking about it. It is talking about that. That's why in, in creation, God has embedded already His plan. That this will go back to Him. Remember His promise in Genesis to Adam and Eve? A woman will come, a new Eve, and a new Adam. Whereas the sin was committed under a tree, sin will be destroyed on that, will be saved on that tree. That's why we see the new Adam hanging on that tree, on the tree. The response for Yassam gives us an idea that, of that situation. The Lord has done marvels for us. It's like Mary when she said, my soul magnifies the Lord. That, that, that. Because he has done great things for me. Because 
zero kita, zero. We started from nothing. In fact, negative pa nga because of our sins. But in the gospel, that is being compared, that negative thing that we are and that we have. Is it certainly that it and Dios is zero also? It's like a small seed, a mustard seed. When it grows, it becomes so big so that everybody shares in its branches, even the birds in the sky. You see? Pag siring ni Maria, how can this be? The angel said, no, Mary. It will be the work of God, not yours. Not yours. All you have to do is, although may plano ka, but there is God's plan for you. That's why it is your vocation. Diri tawag ni mo. It is tawag niya. Because he has a plan. It is your vocation. Diri tawag ni mo nanay. Nor ni mo tatay. Diri ito. It is rela. It to to nurture it, to help that you see. Kung haain it is your vocation. Ours is merely to respond to the call of God. He said, I have called you, you did not call me. Basic yan sa formation. Basic. And when he calls us, diri natawag hiya nga, sige natawagong ko ni Kuan, so and so, kay bright hiya, guapo hiya, maaram hiya, maaram mag basketball, maaram mag ping pong, maaram mag jackstone. No, he does not say that. He says, I will call him because I want to call him. That is the plan. Look at Peter. He was so scandalized. Lord, why, why me? Depart from me because I am a sinful man. The Lord did not consider that. No, Peter, you're wrong. I'm not calling you because you are good, because of your qualities. I'm calling you because I'm calling you. Period. You see? It's like 11. But it's like a little bit or whatever. It's like that because we are flat. In the kingdom of God, God's put in the patubo and you grow. You just cooperate. It's because of the patubo that makes you grow. It's because of the grace of God. It's because of your vocation. It's because of your calling that you grow. It's because but it's because God had been, you know, until today, every day, He has been provoking me to go on track. My vocation did not end at my ordination. My vocation continues until today, until I die. It will continue. Ayo pagsiring siguro, wari ko calling. How do you know that? Uwat kung Dios, uwat. Some years back, we had a priest here in the diocese who have been working here in the diocese, and after like 26 or 30 years, he said, maybe I don't have any calling. I said, what? After 30 years of working in the diocese, wala ka calling? Inaano ka? Where were you when I was falling in love? <laughs> you see? Because it does not depend on how you feel. It does not depend on your analysis. Because vocation is beyond the microscope. It cannot be written in a computer. It cannot be encoded in a program. It is more than that. It's like a mustard seed. Maybe now you don't see it very clearly because you don't have the qualities of a priest. But there they are. God is calling them. We continue to witness to the Word of God day after day. Kung qualities sa ato nidependehan, aba, kami nga kapadihan, damo ha mo di ma-qualify. So, kagad St. Peter, maray pag-qualify. But look at him, he became the first Pope. That's why, one day we were discussing about this, about how we have to form, and one was saying, suggesting, siguro we can form, nga tanan nga si Merista ganito. So that when they become priests, they will be like ganito, no? Mga tanan hiramay da mga degree, may da mga 
whatever. And somebody said, maybe not, maybe not. We cannot have one size fits all. Some seminarians can become priests like St. Bonaventure, St. Thomas, you know. But not all priests are St. Thomas. Some priests are like St. John Vianney, you see. St. John Mary Vianney. Diri mo aram, pero santos. Adi naman mo aram, pero diri santos. You see. You cannot, you cannot put one size fits all. You cannot say, kinanglan ng tanang seminarista, square it kahimo. No! You cannot do that. May the square, may rectangle, may triangle, may virangani. Circle na laubos pag kinaon. Malidong na. You see? But that's how it is. That's how our vocation is. You see? This is how you compare the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is from A to Z. And it depends not on you, not on me, not on us. It depends on God. pray brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be made acceptable to God the Father Almighty look we pray O Lord on the offerings we make to your majesty that whatever which is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory through Christ our Lord the Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, His death we celebrate in love, His resurrection we confess with living faith, and His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end, we now acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The sun and the highest, as the sea of God. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like a dew fall so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Crispin our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy in us all, we pray, and to the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may we merit to be co-heirs to life eternal, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we now dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, the kingdom come, the will be done, and earth is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, on our sinfulness, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs may we may one day possess in truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless all of you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us all go in peace. Thanks be to God.